Hi, I'm Steve Kahn. Welcome to my home here in Los Angeles, California. And I'm looking forward to you taking a look with Paul and David at our Surfrider Foundation Ocean Friendly Garden. Hey, I'm David Chokichi. I'm an actor, a dad, an environmental enthusiast, a surfer, and a huge lover of Surfrider Foundation. Today I'm here with Paul from Surfrider Foundation. And today we're gonna to check out this landscape for this house and see what elements actually make it ocean friendly. All right, so what is an ocean friendly garden? In an ocean friendly garden applies CPR. That's conservation, permeability, and retention. So what we're doing is we're sending too much pollution to the ocean. So the way that we stop that is applying CPR to the garden. We started it because we wanted to give people like you something you could do on your own. So someone lives like 10 miles from the water and they're gonna say like, why, why, my house is, we're not even close, we're 10 miles from the ocean. Why, why does it matter what I do? Yeah, because even that far in, they still have storm drains, which go into a pipe, which goes into a creek, to a river, then to the ocean. We do ocean-friendly gardens when it's wet or dry right. because we're primarily focused on preventing polluted runoff. So every time it rains a little bit, you're still getting pollution, so you want to capture that. Then you also want to capture that water. Why? Because the number one user of electricity in the state is moving and cleaning water. So someone like even myself, we have drains like this because it's sloped and then we have a pipe going all the way to the street. How could I join the Ocean Friendly Gardens and, and feel like I'm more connected by doing something with that pipe? So there's two things. One, you could do what they've done here in the backyard. So have little spaces for water to soak in. Uh -huh. And even in landscaping, you see where they have these kind of high points? Right. Here's a low point. Yeah. Yeah. So what you dig out to create a low point, you mound up to create a high point. I think it looks visually more interesting totally. and it's intentional. Yeah. So everything is, is got intention to it, intention to direct it to landscaping. Because yep. we want water to soak into soil for plants to tap into a dry months. Mm -hmm. And then we want soil to have a chance to act on the pollution, to eat it up. So water that's not absorbed by the landscaping that runs down onto this walkway and then it goes into this drain. This drain goes into a pipe which goes around the house and out to the front yard into the landscape and I'll show you how it works. These are rain gutters so yeah. as water comes off the roof it collects in the gutter and then this is a downspout. Yeah. Water comes down this downspout and they've got it plumbed underneath the ground because they've got this walkway here but then it comes out in this pipe over here, right here. Yeah, here's this, you see this pipe, David? Yep. So this is taking water from the one we just looked at, that downspout, and also the ones from the front yard are coming in. And then when there's enough water pressure, this thing pops up and water spills out. Here we go, David, yeah. just rained here. And now we've got water that's collected here because this is the lowest spot in the garden. Right. And over the next 24 hours, this is gonna soak in. Paul, so how can the public get more involved with Ocean Friendly Gardens and like find out more information? That's really simple. Just go to surfrider.org backslash OFG and you can find how-to information and how to volunteer with one of our chapters or clubs. Beautiful. There you have it. OFG, baby.